This is my hobby engine crane truck. I ordered it from Amazon. It came from Japan. You can see the truck written in Japan, Japanese. It's an old FM system, which I didn't, I got an FM because it's a little cheaper. I want to pull it out and put my 8 channel or 12 channel and radio system into it. It's a 118 scale. It goes forward and reverse, left and right. It does a whole bunch of features. It comes with the battery. But it says on the back that I have to put like four double A's or something in it. So I'm going to open this up, charge the batteries up, and do a little video on it and do a driving and testing the whole vehicle. the hobby engine crane truck out of the box. I charged the batteries up. This is the transmitter. It's an FM system so you can't go too far with it. These are all the controls. Up and down with the hook. Up and down with the, um, the boom. In and out with the boom. Left and right with the boom. Hits the switch over. Left and right with the steering. Forward and reverse. And these will still work. You just don't can't extend the boom or turn it left and right until you hit the switch back. That's pretty much it. It just has a horn sound unless you're driving it. Once you start driving it, it makes other sounds. Okay, I'm going to show you how it operates. I'm not going to show you the controller. I'll just let you watch the truck. It has ratchets on everything so you can't damage anything. You can't go all the way around with it. It stops about there. It ratchets.
That's why you hear it beeping and stuff. It's trying to drive away. That's the old FM system. Just being, I'm about two feet away from it. It's getting interference. Front here, there's a hook holder. You just have to hook the hook in the hook holder. There's a loop in the front of the truck. There you go. Now I'll quit making all that bashing noise. I guess you can't operate the control up and down with the hook unless you switch the switch over. Oh, very interesting. I didn't know that. Yep, it shuts it off. Shuts these switches off down below when you switch it into driving mode. The horn still works though. Alright, let's do a little closer review on this thing. Straight back here, I didn't even know it. It has actually a winch back here. You have to hand operate it. There's a winch. Later on, I'm gonna put a whole different computer system in this truck. I'm gonna run an 18 channel. I'm gonna actually have the lights so I can turn them on, to keep them on. I'm gonna have a switch up here to keep these lights flashing. I'm gonna have high beam, low beam. I'm probably gonna use a Tamiya light kit system in here. These come off. You can use these to just snap in here. Same thing with these road construction signs. If you notice they're in Japanese, because I ordered this, the only one they had on Amazon and eBay was from Japan. So I ordered it from over there and it comes with Japanese writing here and on here. I don't know what it says. But see original writing is in English. See if you get it actually from Hobby um, Engine, it will be in English. But I couldn't find any more, so I had to order this one a couple months ago from Japan. These has extendable pads with the little ratchets on them. Little tiny ratchets there. Solid axle in the back. Drive axle with a differential. Steering trims here, just left and right, doesn't have proportional. And just left and right all the way. 7.2 battery, it came with it. You have to undo the um, screw. You need a Phillips head screwdriver. You have to undo the screw. It was in the truck with the switch off. Same thing with the transmitter. I never ran into it before. That to actually leave the batteries in the vehicle. It's first time for me. Back here, it doesn't come with three AA batteries. You have to put them in yourself. You have to own them. Only grab the Oops, drop the radio. The only thing I got is these are solid plastic with rubber outside, which is good. But they're really, if you look down here, they're just, they're not good. They're, um, the rims are just kind of like popped in here. So I'm not too happy with that. It doesn't look authentic. And my truck was spray painted with that working condition that actually has dirt on the windows. Which I'm not too keen of, but it's the only truck I could get. They might be selling these again, but I got ordered this about... Oh, I got it before Christmas. It's been in the box. So I'm finally getting it out and making a video on it. 
So it's March, beginning of March now, March 5th. I think it's March 5th anyhow. But. So it's been almost four months I had this truck sitting in a box. So besides that, there's not much. I'm at, I don't know what goes in these little holes here. But um, later on I'm going to convert this whole truck over for speed controls and all this stuff so I can barely move it, it won't be on off. It's going to run my 18 channel in here. I'm going to fully deck this thing out. I'm going to put a diesel engine sound kit in it so I actually can rev up the engine and on you operating these things. I might use a whole bunch of mixing on it. It comes with the um, charger for the 7.2 battery so if you're looking for that. And I think I spent like 170 bucks on this, then shipping, that was like 200 and something. If you're lucky and you can find it, you can probably get it cheaper, but these things, some reason, hobby engine stuff starting to come real hard to come by. And they're wanting a lot of money for it. So hunt around, it's out there, you can get probably this stuff for like 75 bucks, it's pretty much what I've been getting everything. Um, I found out if you go on eBay, you go to the hobby store sites themselves to go type this in can't find find something that has hobby engine go to their web page itself and they won't have it on ebay but they'll have it on their web page and you can probably find this stuff for like 75 bucks this crane might be like 65 bucks 75 bucks you're gonna have to hunt for it though it's not gonna be easy i didn't realize that so i ordered this four months ago or five months ago and I found the last one on Amazon. I checked eBay and then I went back to Amazon. So I ordered, I think it was over 200 something dollars. But I'm gonna convert this whole thing and it's gonna really work with my rest of my construction equipment. So I do have other videos of hobby engine stuff and I'll be keep posting new stuff. So if you subscribe to my channel while I'm posting new stuff, um, you guys will see it come in. You can check it out and see if you want to order one if you're starting a construction fleet up or not I believe up here, see I have a fire engine it's basically the same make, this is I believe these little grooves is for the ladder it used to be a ladder, it would run up here and on top of this thing will be a ladder and um, I'm going to show you how the motor for the crane itself is up here let me, let me see if I can switch some stuff around here I wanted to show you something underneath it. All right, carefully move this. See under here, the motor's in there. But see under here, there's brass strips that connect to a power strip down in here. And these brass strips run the power up to the motor up here. So I would recommend not touching those because you don't want them to start corroding because they are brass and they'll start turning green and you'll get corrosion and the motor up top won't work. It has little teeth along here. This is the teeth that drive this crane out. You can manually, I don't know if you can, my other truck I used to. Oh, well, I guess when you, this one you can't manually turn it. It's geared down too low so don't, you probably break something if you try to force it. Yeah, this one won't turn has a steel hook on here so it has some weight to it hooks it as a ring hook in the front I don't know which lights come on when you start driving it whoa I that's a tilt to sting I'll hold it and see what lights come on Nothing, no turn signals or nothing like that. And I think it just has rear brake lights. When you're backing up, I think they just light up. And that, that's all that does. There's a little license plate on there. I didn't notice that before. Little spools back in here. It can't lift too much weight up. I realized I was trying to lift up one of my little look dozers. It can't much lift much weight up. So I don't know how much it can lift up. Maybe half a cup of water or less. It's not much. That little plastic thing over there it lifted with ease. I don't think it'll even lift the radio. Not a radio waste. It'll probably lift the radio, and that's probably it. I don't have any weights to actually tell how much it can lift. But I would figure about the weight of this radio is probably the max it can lift. It might not even lift this thing. It ratchets up here. 
And I recommend not to try to lift stuff with it because it's a lot of stress on everything. It's more all together. It's built for safety, so it has ratchets in it so you can't break it. So. Put out my little pads. Later on, these are going to be on motors. It'll be one channel, two channel, three, four channels. Five, six, seven, eight channels. Eight channels for that. Nine channels for drive, ten for steering, ten. There's ten channels. Um, lights will be 11, uh, 12, it's going to be probably a full 18 channels is going to go into this thing. I'm going to assume that's what I'm going to put in here. It's full 18 channels. There's probably plenty of space under here to put speed controls and all that stuff. Alright, well, this is my video on this machine. I got a whole bunch of other stuff on order. It's coming from Germany. So in the next month or so, I got a farm tractor coming in. I got several other pieces of equipment coming in. It's just going to take a long time. It has to go through customs and everything else. So, all right. Hopefully, um, somebody enjoyed this video out here. F feel free to put um, a thumbs up on it so I kind of know to keep making these videos. It does have a little reflecting mirrors. Got little mirrors in there. Has a little snorkel for the engine. This is the left to right and the steering seat it has no proportional. That's all you got. Left, right, left, right. There's no intermediate. Same thing with the throttle. It's just all or nothing. So it has these little doors. Uh, you just undo a screw and then probably get right into the electronics, which that's going to be cool later on. I might make it some type of little quick turn or magnet. Just pop the magnet over, I can get into the electronics if I need to do work on the speed controls or something that's valuable I need to get to. That's why it's going to go in here. So I can easily pop this open, take a look at it, and just snap it back closed with a little, uh, rare earth magnet or something. Or maybe this top compartment will pop off. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to make it so I can do a couple things. Little wipers on the front. That's some type of writing in Japanese. I don't know what it says. It's the license plate up front. Can't wait to get all these headlights working. It'll be headlights. Um, it make that turn signal or something like that. I might put a um, RC four-wheel drive power winch back here. And have this plastic one actually put a real working one back here. That way that can hook up to something. Or I might remove this and just make a hitch. And I'll put back here some weights or something. I can tow a trailer with extra um, crane equipment. Let me use harnesses and stuff like that. This might become a hitch. You really don't need a winch back here. So if I put a hitch back here, I can tow a trailer behind with all types of equipment. I'm not quite sure. I, mean, I, don't, I just don't ever see a winch on the back of a crane truck. I really think I might pull that off and put a hitch back here. only three items I don't own from Hobby Engine yet. I don't own their tower crane. I don't own their forklift. I have a fire truck the same scale but it's not a Hobby Engine fire truck so it's a little different. So I might get that forklift and a tower crane and I'll have everything owned by Hobby Engine.